Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We got our special guest back again. The detective. Yeah, yeah. The detective's here. So, guys, do you remember Firefest? <laughs> I have no sympathy for anyone who got stranded. What's whatsoever. your favorite? Wait, hold on. What's your favorite part about the original Firefest? Was it? I'll give you three choices. Make it easy. Was it the pitiful-looking cheese sandwich? Was it the fact that Ja Rule was involved, or was it the guy who was going to give fellatio for water? Oh, where the guy on the from the thing where he had to like go blow someone to get the water for the yeah. whatever. Uh, my favorite part was honestly the beach villas. Okay, <laughs> and that and then they ended up just being like be, be, being like tents in the sand, tents in the sand, and it was just they're blowing yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of blowing. Yeah, I'm gonna say the little little crappy ass sandwiches they had. That them. was that you, was good. You guys was, paid was for good. those just expensive tickets, and this is what you have. <laughs> so, so Billy McFarland was the guy who ran that, and it, it it was so funny when you watch that documentary. He has that toxic positivity because he was just like, "It's gonna happen. We're gonna be good. Everything like everything's like we're on. T- we're yeah, yeah, yeah." And then he's like, "Oh God, I made a terrible mistake." I so now I can't believe a guy from Family Guy effed up Firefest. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so. I think he went to jail. He's out. He posted online the other day. Who's ready for Firefest 2? Tell me why you should be there. And uh Yep. <sighs> so I don't know if it's I don't I don't know if he was just trolling. No, he's actually going through with it. Who the hell would involved? buy a ticket to that after the first one? Well, I'll I'll leave you with this, okay? Like who would buy it is you know what? You might be an idiot, you might just be bad with money, you might be like you can't F it up twice. That's that comes into question, but there's no such thing as bad publicity. So when you get people, everybody Firefest is a household name. It's a household name. Everybody knows it. You say Firefest, like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, John ja Rule in the sandwich. All for the negative. So the the licensing or not the licensing, but the branding is already there. It's already there. It's it could be a survival there. festival <laughs> where where you get to bring one backpack with whatever the hell you can fit in it. And it's like Bear Grylls is there. He makes it. He makes it bad on purpose. Yeah, it's, yeah. You have to sign a waiver. You go oh no. and, and and it's like fucking Thunderdome for three days. Brother, it's like going to one of those restaurants where like the waitresses are rude to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it's like, is that like a thing? That. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Oh, it's great actually. There's it's, uh, what, it's, it's called, called Dick's Last Resort. There's that one, and there's one called Karen's, um, where Karen's. all of them are just rude to you. Yeah, they're, they they oh, like come up to the God. table and they're like, "What the hell do you want?" And yeah. then you'll start talking. And they'll be like, "Never," and they'll just walk away. Yeah. Wait, wait. Or they'll you'll say, "Can I get some water?" They'll come by and just pour water, and you have to like try to catch it with your glass yeah. and shit. Like it's, I've seen them just like people walk in and just throw the menus on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to sign a waiver when you go in here to, you know, say that you consent to this terrible treatment? Yeah, I would hope you know, but yeah, no, they no, just no. And uh yeah, it would be yeah, it would be interesting. Bad they... service isn't illegal, but a bad uh, a bad uh, festival could be illegal. I mean, what he did was illegal. Uh, he went to jail. Yeah, okay. He definitely committed okay. fraud. Yeah, yeah. Is okay. John Rule involved at this time? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know, so. man. I, I would think that Ja would know better than to get in the business with the same guy who burned him last time. I mean, kind of ruined his name a little bit. I mean, I think he ruined his own name. How? By providing money? By financing something? By some guy saying, hey, look, I want to do this festival. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, <laughs> Doug Love, here's $50,000. <laughs> Is that what Ja Rule sounds like? Yeah. Man, you're good at impersonations today. <laughs> Is that Ja Rule? Yeah, Is sorry, Ja Rule yeah. here? <laughs> Guys. Yeah, AI Ja Rule. But AI no, ja- <laughs> dead ass. All he did was give him money. It was like, okay, go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. And he was like, all right, I'm going to make I'm this I'm going to rip everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> rip everybody off. And Ja Rule was like, I had nothing to do with that. I just gave him money. Yeah, it's like that guy who brought the gun to the party and someone else got shot. You're like, I just brought the gun to the party. I didn't shoot no one. Is that a tax stone reference? Did Jonas just oh, reference what? tax stone? What is tax? How do you even know I, about that? I don't know what you're talking about. What is okay, that? Never mind. What it's, is tax stone? Now no, you I'm not talk. getting into this deeply rooted rap beef bull crap with you. <laughs> Wait, no, I want to hear it now. No. Come on, you brought it up. It's so long and stupid and annoying. Dude. I mean, you can give me the, the bridge version. It. There's a rapper and give podcast, me the two sentences. music. Any shot? When the club shot, girl shot, people shot, jail. 
the end. How's that have to do with what I said? So America. Though? You didn't even link it to what I no, said. No, because you said something about like the guy who brings the gun to the club and then his friend got shot. Was oh wait, this is John Morant reference. I'm talking about the guy from Alabama's basketball team. He he brought a gun. His friend took the gun and killed someone. And, and, and wasn't so, that John Morant? That I don't know. I don't know. Does he play is. for Alabama basketball? I don't know. I know he plays a sport. Wasn't it the guy who got caught with the gun on Instagram? And he was holding the gun up and, oh, and everybody was like, oh, my God, he has a gun. He had to do like a press release. And he was on Good Morning America. Like, I'm really sorry that I held a gun. I know that I'm. <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> he's sorry he held a gun in America. Oh, <laughs> he's just, really? Uh, there was another one. He held the gun up in the club. There was that guy. He just held the gun oh up. Oh, my the... God, dude. He this was like so... posting videos of himself in the club with a gun. It's so crazy that a country that has, has such a strong history just bathed in guns. And then you can't hold a gun. That's why we a... got the power. You got the guns. You got the power. You've seen the movie Juice. <laughs> okay and if we get trump back in office oh, then what everybody's gonna have the thank power. you exactly <laughs> we all get the guns back we all have the guns now i, don't, don't I have two on me right now <laughs> i'm gonna tell you right now this is a new scarface quote waiting to happen there is one when you get the guns, are you telling me if trump gets you get into the office, power buying two guns i'm getting a gun anyway i live in texas like a shotgun i live in texas no i'm getting a gun 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 What's the like, gun gun like gun? Gang gang like, gun? Like, what does that mean? Does it, have, does it hold more ammo? <laughs> Holds three times the ammo. It's a gun gun gun. Is, is, it, a, is it a drum? Uh... It's got the extra clip. <laughs> yes, I love it. I don't know. I'm just getting a gun. Like a handgun? Like, like yeah, like a nine millimeter most oh, likely. Man, I don't like... want anything too, too big. I got weak elbows. <laughs> <laughs> My elbow joints aren't quite so so tight. Yeah, they're tender. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you should get a shotgun. I'm not getting a can shotgun. Can shoot skeet out the back not door. shooting or skeet. recoil. You know, you know what? Don't ever tell me to shoot skeet <laughs> out the, off the balcony. <laughs> I don't need you to ever say that to me ever again. <laughs> we'll throw our old CDs up in the air and you I'm can not, skeet shoot them. I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing my seed up in the air. Sounds like a plan to me. No, yeah, there you no, go. Brother. Shoot that seed up there, dude. I'm not shooting my CDs. What, what, why do you want a gun? Why do I want a gun? Yeah, why do you want a gun? Uh, I want to get a gun before the, the, the liberals take them out of my hands. Is that, yeah? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that what you want? No pry this goddamn gun in my cold dead hands. Yeah. Cold dead hands. Because look, they're coming for them. <laughs> Are they? They're coming for well, them. You haven't had one for your whole life. It Why ain't gonna happen. Now? You don't think it's gonna happen? No, it's not gonna happen. You don't think it's gonna happen? Me and Jones no. were discussing this the other day. Were I'm we? Gonna, I'm gonna look it up right now. Me and Wait me. a second. Were we? <laughs> what are we discussing? We were discussing uh, the fact that there was a. Uh, a lot of mass shooting like deaths that have been happening. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and we were like, when I wonder how many it, it's been, and and the total number came to like it came to like a thousand something, right? And I'm sure it's probably up even more now. I'm sure yeah. it's at least more than one per day. Uh, yeah, it, it is yeah. more than one per day. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, there's there's a lot. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna make this argument. Yeah. But my whole thing was like, look, if there's so many going on, then there's a good chance that one could happen by me. So shouldn't I have something to protect myself? Yeah, on the, I would tend to agree until you think about it. What do What do I need to think about? Explain. So explain. Just imagine the scenario. Explain. There. Were, okay. So. A while ago, years ago, there was a shooting at a uh, was it Virginia Tech? It, it was one of these universities, and yeah. there was actually two uh, was it Marine guys, Army guys, who were thinking of uh, getting involved, but they decided not to because otherwise they would be confused for shooters no, or no, no. dangerous people. Okay, so look, I I so, feel you there, but I'm black, so they know it's not me. <laughs> not wrong. I don't know about that. Uh, they know it's look. If a white people mass shoot, dude. Okay, I'll they be. already shoot unarmed people. Police so. officer walks into a bar, a nightclub down the street. Yes, me as a black person, I would expect to get shot over the white person if a report for comes for a gun. If there is a mass shooting in a mall and or school and or anywhere, they are not looking for me first. It sounds like you might get shot whether you're ar armed or unarmed. What do you mean? How am I going to get shot if I'm unarmed? Or from armed or unarmed. By the police. Or I mean, look, there's always a chance, but they know they're not looking for me. 
You know, it's mainly white people who sh- do mass shootings. Yeah, it is. I didn't say it. that's your word. <laughs> I mean, I just said they know it's not going to be me. I'll take that word. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's not going to be. Yeah, me. no, man. It's a uh... the study show. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was talking about, though. It's like, yes, mass shootings happen a ton, but but how many events happen every day where one doesn't happen? So the chances mm-hmm. of you being there are so low. Yeah, if it's it, going to happen, it's going to happen, man. That's That was Jonas's argument. He was like, the, the number of people that have experienced or been involved in a mass shooting um, is so low. It's like the chance of you doing it's like you got a better chance of getting struck by lightning than being involved to a mass yeah, shooting. But if you it can't happens con- to you, it still fucking sucks. But like, it's just a random act of violence, yeah. man. It's yeah, like, but you can't control lightning. You, are, you can at least control flow of weapons out in society. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, if I'm not going to, th- if I'm going to the club, my brain is not saying, oh, my God, I hope there's not a shooting tonight. It's I'm going to the club because there's going to be Shouldn't it already be? What? Shouldn't it, shouldn't it already be what? Uh, thinking, hey, something may or may not happen. J- just based on just the, yeah, but the I, fact but, that there's someone, you know, something that happened a day. But every day I get in the car, I don't think, oh, someone could hit me and kill me. You don't? No. no. I totally don't. Yeah, I mean. I'd be ready, man. I'd be, my head's on a swivel. I mean, I'm on a swivel, but I'm not like, man, I hope I don't get murdered in my car today. Like, I don't oh, think that. Boy. I was trying to drive fast, getting away from every other car on the road. That's why I drive fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I don't know what that is. Uh, so, but anyways, we'll wrap this up. That, that That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. And the detective. We are out.